always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to remind you to let God do it. Welcome to your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs. I'm founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we fuel your faith every single day. Monday through Friday, I share encouragements as the Lord lays them on my heart and make them available to you as a free resource. You can download them on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher.com, even YouTube. You can listen to them there, DeannaHobbs.com and other media outlets. I pray that you'll be blessed by what you hear. Feel free to share them with somebody else that you think needs a word from the Lord. Before we get started today, and you know I'm excited that you're here. I'm just so ready to get into what God has to say. Let's say a little prayer right quick. God, thank you for this time of sharing, this time of fellowship. How wonderful it is that you would dwell among us and speak to us and minister to our needs so profoundly. I ask that for the person listening today, you would meet a need through this podcast, that they would walk away knowing that you have spoken to them and ministered to them individually, personally, and in a special way. Thank you so much for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Yesterday, I had a splitting headache. I mean, it was excruciating. I felt the nagging pain in the center of my forehead right after I woke up that morning in my Atlanta hotel room. I mentioned this in a message I shared with you on YouTube. If you want to see it, I think it's about two minutes and a half long, something like that. I discussed my travels and what I was up to this weekend on the newest video on my channel. Just go to YouTube and type in Deanna Hobbs and the video is titled A Quick Message. By the way, if you want to be a part of my intimate YouTube family where I share family vlogs and personal stuff like that, feel free to subscribe. I absolutely love it when you pop in and view the videos, like them and leave me a comment. It is the best. So anyway, by the time I got to the airport, that small throbbing was rapidly growing into a huge pounding and it was almost unbearable. I felt sick. I knew it was because I was running on very little sleep and my body was communicating with me through a developing migraine that I needed to park it and rest somewhere now. You know, we don't always need to rebuke the devil when we get a headache. Sometimes we just need to go to sleep. So that's what I needed to do to try to alleviate the pain since I couldn't get in the bed at that time I walked over to one of those airport small stores near my gate and purchased some pain relievers after I got my emergency headache relief tablets and my water I ripped open the box and started feverishly tearing away at one of the two little packets that contained a single pill I wanted to get it in my system as quickly as possible but I couldn't get the thing open there I am in the airport, tugging, pulling, and struggling with this tiny square packet, feeling more and more frustrated. This went on for like two or three minutes until finally I just stopped, sighed, and looked at the packet. Well, as I was staring dejectedly at this white glossy packet, that's when I noticed a bold straight black line across the top of it with instructions printed on it. It said very simply, Fold over here and tear open. When I did that, voila, it was like magic. The packet opened right up. I froze and then started laughing at myself. To anyone watching me sitting there giggling, I probably looked crazy. But I was tickled by how ridiculous I had been. Why didn't I just look at the instructions in the first place? I could have saved myself time and frustration, right? I had the solution to my problem in my hands and couldn't access it because I ignored directions. A shame. How many times, though, do we do that in our lives? I mean, really, we just dive into things, only thinking about what we want, need, and deeply desire, how we feel, without consulting anyone for guidance and direction. But this isn't a productive method. In fact, it's a setup for failure, especially in our walk with the Lord. Have you ever rushed into something only to regret it later. I mean, come on, think about it. Be honest. It makes me think about what Abram and Sarai did in Genesis 16. God promised them a child in old age, something that didn't seem likely. After some time passed and Sarai did not conceive, she came up with her own plan. She didn't wait on God for clarity. The Bible says she offered up her handmaid Hagar to her husband Abram. She figured this is the only way we're going to produce a promised child. So Abram 
impregnated this female servant, and that's where all the trouble began. After Hagar got pregnant, she despised Sarai, creating strife between the two women. Things were now out of order, tense, and difficult. Friend, always remember that man-made plans create man-made disasters, and they can be really messy and hard to clean up. In this biblical story, we learn that Sarai is the one God chose to carry that seed, but because she didn't have enough patience and faith, she abdicated her responsibilities to a servant. Have you ever had drama in your life over a rush decision? Maybe you rushed into a relationship, rushed into a business opportunity, rushed into making a big purchase, or rushed into a major decision of some sort without praying and with no direction. It was a huge mistake, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Some of the greatest pains of our lives stem from our failure to truly consult God and wait for his leading. If you can do those two things, consult him and wait, you won't mess up what God wants to do in your life. In this Genesis story, none of this drama would have happened if Sarah had not moved out of season and implemented her own plan. Today, I believe God has you listening to this podcast to let you know that he has a very specific desire design and plan for your life. When you don't wait for direction, things turn out negatively. Situations don't get better, they get worse. Whenever you jump ahead of God and do something out of season, it creates a mess. This is precisely what happened here. The Bible says, as a result of the antagonistic relationship, Sarai mistreated the handmaid, and though the word of God doesn't specify what Sarai did to Hagar, it was bad enough to make her flee. Despite that, though, in the midst of the chaos, God intervened. He pursued Hagar in the wilderness and told her the child she was carrying would be a boy named Ishmael. And that name means God has heard. According to Genesis 16, verses 11 through 12, the angel of the Lord told her that even though God heard and responded to her misery, this is him talking to Hagar, Ishmael would still be wild and hostile. Ishmael represents the works of the flesh, see. When we don't seek God, we find ourselves in wild, hostile, and difficult circumstances, a direct byproduct of our failure to consult the Lord and trust His timing. But here's what God wants you to get. If you can seek His face and understand that He hears you and He reveals His will in His own timing, you never even have to create your own Ishmael or a work of the flesh or a wild wild, hostile situation as a result of unsuccessful human maneuvering. When the plan originates with you and not God, bringing it all together feels arduous and impossible. Oh, on the other hand, if you let God do it by trusting his providence and timing, things will be much easier. Make up your mind, make a decision that you're going to let God do it. When it comes to wanting things to happen in your life, you don't have to forge ahead without direction. You don't have to force fit things. You don't have to try to make moves before getting direction and before the season is right. You don't have to hurt yourself. No, God's hand of favor is on your life. He has a plan for you. Rest in him. Wait for clarity. You might not understand what God is doing. You've got a promise over your life just as Sarai and Abram did, but you don't know how God is going to bring the promise to pass, but he's going to do it. You've got to trust him. In the meantime, Ask him for the wisdom to know what your next move should be. That's why I'm stirring James 1 and 5 in the New Living Translation into your cup of inspiration, which says, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. As you drink down the contents of your cup, remember, if you want something from God, ask, wait, and trust. Let God do it. Let him do it his way. Let him do it in a way that exceeds your expectations. Don't destroy your destiny by implementing your plan. Wait on the divine plan and timing of God. You'll be so glad you did. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this, my sister, this, my brother. I believe that their season of release and breakthrough is on the way. In the meantime, help them not to grow impatient. Help them not to lean to their own understanding, but rather to trust you, to trust your timing, which is always perfect. We thank you so much in Jesus name. Amen.
Your daily cup of inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com. 